Dude, I will please. say this, Holly. Like no I, cowboy. I really have enjoyed this book so far for the first it's part. It's it grabbed me a lot more than I thought it would. That's Same. Sure. I, it's in the second half it's is surprised. even more amazing. Like I'm very curious to see how it, that turns out. I almost yeah. like kept going at the end of part two, and I'm just like, no. I, Same. I do that, it's be I, I, but I knew I was going to talk about certain things, and I was like, Wait, we have to Same. get the podcast done, and then I can start reading because I really want to know what happens next. But um, yeah. That the, the next half of the book basically don't spoil well, okay, it. The first half of the, no, no, I won't. The first half of the, half of the book gets a lot of background, so you really understand everything. All the and characters. The half, well, so it's there's, really good. Because there's a good amount of characters. There is a surprising yeah. amount of sex in this book. Yeah, I told yeah. you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, hang on. I have a note on that. Hang on. I have a note. It's like, oh, it's white, huh? Like steaming. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There's just so much. I I'm have. I'm just <laughs> sounds, sounds surprised. I I was surprised uh, when I reread it and I was like, oh wow, I totally forgot about uh, most of this. Ah, so guys, I have I, I have I have some wow. chapters where I'm writing a bunch of like names and information and how they feel about each other, and like I'll say chapter one and blah 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 blah. Here are my notes uh, for I chapter ten. Um, <laughs> chapter ten, white. Everywhere, winky face. Uh -huh. That those are all my notes for chapter ten. <laughs> oh my gosh! Proud of, proud of. But yeah, there's a there's a, there's a surprising a, a, a amount of sex in this book. <laughs> yeah, I I honestly forgot about all those scenes. But the thing is, it's a good storyline, so at least it's not that's. Not oh no, yeah, it's not like we're reading like an erotic book. They're, they're just saying they're not saying like you know he bent me over and then the they're just saying we made love and then it's like and then we woke up and then we made love and then we had breakfast right. and then we made yeah. love. So they're just saying stuff like yeah. that. It wasn't like graphic. Well, the only one that was graphic okay. was chapter ten when he said basically you know they just boned all night and everything was wet and messy and white. Um, yeah. Was it like? Ah, my clitoris. Like, there, there wasn't any, like, any of that. The closest was, like, he grabbed my body and threw me out. Like, I think it threw me on the bed. I don't remember the exact phrasing. It was from her diary. Yeah, yeah. So, so speaking of her diary, um, one thing that I thought was interesting, like, I like how sometimes they, they jump between, like, a certain chapter will just be her her diary, like, what she's thinking that day. Because you can tell she's definitely, she's fighting herself. Like, in the very first chapter, there was something that she didn't want to write in her journal. She said, no, I won't even, yeah. I won't even write that down. And I was very curious as to what it was. You'll, um, the second half will explain, it like fills I, in a lot I'm of assuming stuff. it, yeah, I'm, assu I'm, assu I'm assuming it will. Yeah. Um. What do you guys think uh, of the main character? Well, who's so? I guess the main character is more the therapist more than, um, yeah, Alicia. The, uh, Alicia isn't really the the focal point. point. Of the story. It's Theo. Yeah. Yeah. She's just the catalyst to the story. Yeah, because it seems like yeah. he, he like I said he's kind of uh, it's it's very interesting. He wants to save her for like out of curiosity more than anything else. Yeah. Like it seems like he is a good therapist and he wants to help her, but he. He has like an obsession. Yeah. yeah, he has a very. He has a, not good and well. Well, no, he is. Intentions is the right word. It's it's it, he's selfish about it. Yeah, he's very selfish he's about not, trying to I'm save not her. Saving her because she's worth saving or anything. It's I really want to know what the fuck she was thinking. <laughs> right. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much I, yeah. I must say I empathize with the guy. I also want to know what she's thinking. What's what's going on? Yeah. Wait. Okay. So how about we? Because, Aaron, you took notes, so you actually remember... It, it, I well, remember it's, everything it's just random about, stuff. It's just it's just random stuff. Like, uh, like for chapter one, I wrote down, like, you know, how long they've been married, how old they are. Um, Gabriel was 44. Um, Barbie Hellman called the cops, and then Elisa Benson named the painting um, after the murder, and she named the uh, Alessis... Alessis? Alessis. Alessis? Okay. Alessis. Sorry, Alessis. But um, it's just basic <laughs> stuff like that. Um, it's mainly just the names of people, because um, there there are a lot. Like the main uh, uh, psychiatric person he's talking to in the asylum is um, Lars Diomedes, 
And he seems to like go back and forth being on his side, depending on what he yeah. does. Which I, I I do like him as a character though. On his side at the end though, everyone kind of turned on him. Well, yeah, I mean, they they, they kind of had a good reason to turn on him at that point. Yeah. 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 You're, you're not wrong, but. Wait. So um, I also can't pronounce it right, but the. How did you say it? Alice? Asestis. Yeah, Asestis. that. What did you guys think of that? Because I think that that actually has a lot of meaning. That was, that w that made me like, I was like, what the frick? Like, yeah, like what the, ho that whole story? I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. Um, the whole. Alistus was a painting with her own <laughs> tools. Oh, wait. Uh, so, the, story, the Greek tragedy was. This guy was set to die and was trying to get someone to take in his place. That's and his right. Wife taken it because he's a fucking coward, in my opinion. What? Wait, did he convince his wife to take it for him? Yes. Yeah. And then she came back, but she couldn't speak. Yes, that's is, right. And that blew my mind. She ended up being. She ended up dying due to the cowardice of her husband. Uh, husband. So I'm wondering if that means she planned. Um, I, so I have a few theories. What what are they? So, a. Can we agree? Does anyone agreement that uh, what's what's the aunt dude's name? John. Oh. Uh, um, John uh, Felix. John Felix. He's boning Kathy, right? Boning Kathy. That he's ha that he's he's fucking Theo's wife. I no. don't. Wait, what makes you Does think he that? Know Theo's wife. I don't know, but. One, when one of the scenes, so it was described that Theo had like a bad vibe on this guy. Oh, yeah. And in one of the scenes, the goob was on the phone, like, talk to you later, babe. Oh, so you picked up, yeah. yeah. I picked up, and I'm like, wait a second, why would they put it in the book of, he's fucking his wife? <laughs> How would they have met, though? Yeah, I, I would be surprised if he even knew. I um, don't know, but that's that's what I that feel the uh the tone that I was getting from John Felix. Just John like Felix, because Theo had a bad vibe vibe about him. The dude is kind of creepy. I won't lie, especially with the diary bit. Yeah. Yeah. He when he was just like standing. Yeah. She she raised, she pretty much was trying to break up their friendship or or put a lot of distance between them. And from the diary, he already has a history of trying to get into people's marriages. Yeah. Because he did that with uh, or tried to do that with um, um, Alicia. No, he didn't. Yeah. That was someone else. That to. that was Gabriel's he, um. He wanted. I I know it was Gabriel's brother as well. But John Felix was like, didn't like Gabriel. He wanted to be the one with. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, he had a thing for her initially. She, she, she just cut it off before it got anywhere. That's yeah. right. Man, everyone wants to sleep with the crazy chick. Yeah. So yeah, so I wonder if that's his thing. It's just everyone wants to sleep with uh, uh, someone's wife. I I wonder if that's his thing. Is he likes sleeping with people um, who are already in a marriage? You think it's a control thing? No, I think it's more of a the, it's it's really wrong and that turns him on. <laughs> well, he's an artist. No, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> why are you no, sleeping? No, why no, you no, why no, you no, sleeping no, with no. my wife? I'm making art by covering her in your. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I, I, so I gotta say, I didn't think of any of this while reading the book. N not even a little bit. Yeah, I didn't think that. I either, I right? don't think we're gonna know who it is until. Are you guys upset that he didn't break up with her when he said he was like when he was he said in his mind um, When she said how's your day? It's like I know you're cheating on me. I want to break up I was so disappointed when yeah, he just he just accepted frustrated. and here's the thing like a lot of movies and shows do this but well, when she also himself when she started calling was him that a actually an email or was that just a drug-induced or did he imagine it? Wait, imagine he has the the emails because he was high at that time. Oh, he didn't have full on proof in himself. But didn't and he say he likes something to her? She could just delete the emails before he sees them and be like, "Ah, oh, you were just 
a pothead because she caught a pothead already when she found the pot. Yeah. She's very judgy. Didn't, yeah, didn't he, didn't he, say, didn't he say like he passed out and then he woke up and his mouth was dry, but then he read the emails again or. So didn't oh, he, did, didn't he read them after he was, you know, done tripping balls? I don't remember. Well, I think I even think if so. he was high, I mean, you can still, it's not like you. He, he didn't say the emails. She could delete it before he 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 gets the back into the email and say you were just high. Oh, that's right, because he he was I hoping him. he was hoping to send oh, them to himself, yeah. and then she oh, logged yeah. out that time. That's right. Yeah. I didn't even think of it from that angle, Ethan. That's a good. He's point. very. He has a lot of self doubt, which I understand. He's very. He's he's he's, he's very. Also like He's, I mean, he changed jobs, he's got a new patient, he's got yeah. all, all this stress on his shoulders, so... Well, he, well, he put that on himself, because remember, he, he did it for selfish reasons, kind of. Sure, but yeah. that doesn't change anything. Right, true, because he still has other patients he has to worry about. He mainly has to keep an eye out on, um, Elif, if that's, if I'm pronouncing her name right. Elif? That's pretty good. It's a leaf. <laughs> yeah, E-L-I-F. <laughs> it's funny because she lost her eye at the end of part two. Oh, gosh. How is that funny? How is that funny? Yeah, that was... I made a goof. You have to keep an eye out for her. <laughs> oh, I did not oh, make gosh. that joke. That was not That was not intentional. That was not my <laughs> intent. I fucking read the, at the up to the point. But... <laughs> He's just, like, making a point. <laughs> Oh, um God. what was the point I read the book. <laughs> so the one part the one chapter that I thought was really really weird it kind of worked in the end is when Theo went to um Alicia's home and then he got jumped by her her cousin oh, oh yeah. yeah that was a very like it, that chapter didn't make sense to me until I guess the the painting like when he went to go see the you know <laughs> the when, uh the pa of, 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 whatever it was. Yeah, of mocking her, like, because, you know, she's on a, a chair that's buckling and about to break, and because she's that's extremely that's fat, and she's right? stuffing her face. But, yeah, that chapter was just... I don't know why he had to meet them. It's like, going to make a lot more sense here soon. He, he was, he's trying to get, like, what was her headspace around that? He's trying to figure out Alicia's headspace uh, around the time of the murder. It's... He's, he's just been trying to find that out. I guess that's yeah. true. And it, he's kind of creating, like, a mystery. Like, instead of it just being a psychotherapy thing, he's trying to, like, get to the bottom yeah. of it, too. So it's kind yeah, of a mystery. Yeah, because Diomen is whatever said, stop being a detective. Yeah. Because he's yeah. going around asking everyone's questions and everything. Like, he asked that one... He asked her lawyer, and... He wasn't really talkative, but then the lawyer's wife or his receptionist, whatever, you know, she was in private, said, like, you know, go go talk to this person, blah, blah, blah. She, she, that's how he knew about the cousin, said, go talk to her cousin. Yeah. She, why do you guys think she was a, she was hiding something? Because I remember it said in the chapter, well, like, she, she's a wife beater. She, that's what I got the two. She's very possess, possess, poss possessive. Did you guys get that sense as well? Wait, for which character? Uh, Max, Gabriel's, uh, brother. Ha oh. and, and Max also like hit on like straight up like p when they were finally visited his brother after so many years like pulled her in and started kissing her saying I love you I love you I love you yeah I thought that was weird too I don't but his well, wife seemed afraid not a good person. Yeah. When, when his wife said go talk to her cousin and everything once he opened the door she like she got really nervous and scared so like I don't know if it's because like if he's beating his wife or he, he does give me oh, a really controlling. I, I think he just gives me a controlling vibe. Not necessarily he hits her, but yeah, he just, he always wants everything to be perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Very controlling. But yeah, and then that's how he met the cousins, and then he went to see the paintings. The the one thing that's messed up about, all of her paintings are really messed up when you think about it. She's making fun of her, her aunt with her obesity and everything like that. And then she literally drew her boyfriend on accident with a cross. Or on the cross. Yeah, what do you guys think about that part of it? That's Pretty messed up that she, like, she said she blinked and looked at it and went, Oh my god, I'm painting Gabriel. It's like, how do you accidentally paint your husband on the cross? Well, I think it's uh, kind of like a savior tough. complex thing. That he has a savior? Like, 
that, well, he, that she kind of sees, like she kind of sees him as her her, life. her savior. Yeah, like her life became whole or good after meeting him, type of thing. But I wonder why she also drew the uh, the 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 gun on his chest as well. Yeah, that yeah. That's the most messed up part. I was like, "Wow, well, she drew her husband. That's weird." Oh, and he's also got the assault rifle on his chest. Cool. I I don't understand. Is it because like she loves him but hates certain parts of him, or does she feel like the gun would be the death of him? Like it's 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 very. Ended up being the death of him. All of her paintings are very weird. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I actually didn't think about all the paintings put to, like the general theme of them. You know. Um, I'm just trying to like I'm going through my notes just because I, I mean, we're kind of bouncing around which is which is fine because and everything. What did you guys think about um, on her birthday when Ga Ruth when Gabriel? Ber Wait, what? Oh, I was gonna say what about Ruth the therapist? But we could go to. Um... Oh no no we can do that. What about the ther the other? Th oh yeah, I forgot about that chapter. That's kind of in the beginning, like when he tried committing suicide and he had to go to therapy, and that's kind of where everything originated. How he wanted to become a psychotherapist, right? Why would why did he try killing himself again? He because I think of, he just I think it's because of his parents, right, or his father more particularly. Yeah. He was just yeah. kind of abusive. Well, we know that. Like, his father was very abusive and everything. So, was he just tired of it? And then... Then he met her, and then he decided to become a therapist and get out of town and all that stuff. Yeah, I'd have to go back and read it. But I think it was just he was in a miserable point. And wasn't he still in college at that point? I believe so. I think so, yeah. That's why they also kind of... She kind of mentored him. Um, but I, I think he should have taken her advice, because she clearly said, like... You love her, but she's betrayed a big trust. Just don't deal with it. Just, you know, you gotta move on. Yeah. And she seems really, like, a, a really wise therapist. And I thought the emotion-feeling part of it was interesting, where she feels the emotions for the, the patients until they're able to feel the emotions for themselves. I thought that was interesting. Oh, that's right. He even said, like, even Theo said when... I think it was right before Alicia attacked him that he was feeling her like hate. He was so numb inside. Yeah, he was, he, he was feeling it like, and then the hatred and everything right before she jumped and like, because he thought he could hear her thoughts. Or he was making them up by saying like, you, you know, you're a fake, you're a fraud, you know, you're not a real therapist, blah, 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 blah. And then, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, she said she feels the emotions for them and then when they're ready, they can feel it. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. And that kind of helped him realize that he should have broken up with her. Yeah, I totally forgot oh, about yeah, that part. That, that's not wrong. I wonder if that's how actual therapy works. Or I guess <laughs> maybe to a point. I guess yeah. it depends on why you're there. Yeah, yeah that's true. If you're there for an eating disorder, probably not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to walk into therapy and it's just like, dude, this pizza's balling. Like, <laughs> <laughs> emotions. Oh wait, we're trying to stop that. <laughs> uh, don't eat your emotions. There, problem solved. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it, it depends what you're going there for. I would presume. The other thing that says interesting, because I I forgot we I totally forgot about this. I'm just I'm reading through my notes. I mean, since we were talking about her paintings. She painted her father in the car accident. Because that's how her father died. Was in that's a car crash. Her, her mother died. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Her father yeah. committed suicide. Her, and her father killed yeah. himself. Yeah. That's pretty traumatic for both things. But I'm, I am curious as to... And I think Theo asked her as well. She didn't paint herself in the car accident. Yeah, he did ask her so that. So it's kind of like a survival's guilt thing. Yeah, wait, I actually haven't really thought into that, yeah. That's what I thought, that's why she didn't draw herself, because it was survivor's guilt. Because think about it, so she she got into a car accident with her mother, mother died, and then a few years after, whether it was because of losing his wife or, or whatever, but then her father killed herself, so maybe he felt guilty. So, you know, pretty traumatic events. She lost both her parents pretty close to each other, so maybe now she feels guilty for being, you know, alive. Yeah, and so she didn't... I always kind of saw it as she chose to separate herself from that incident, but that, was that also would make more sense. That, but, she's trying to pocket 
fucking out. Oh, so she's trying to... Well, then why would she paint it then? May I don't know. Maybe because she feels, like, obviously sad about it. But I think your take on it might make more sense, and I just hadn't thought of it that way before. A that, survivor's guilt? That, yeah, yeah, that yeah. that's what I thought about it. Um, I could definitely see that being uh, a thought then. And I'm trying to think what happens next then. What did you guys think about... Um, in her diary, when she, when Gabriel asked on her birthday, saying, "Do you want to have a kid?" Why she was terrified? Do you guys think that was justified? Because I, I, I kind of see why she'd be worried. Uh, I she think so. I mean, her kid to have the same fucked up feeling she has. Well, I and also her mother, because apparently her mother was also had some issues as well. Or, or I guess her mother was hate, like she said her mother. She she was more worried about. Um her mother's genes being passed on to her child, like their personality and everything. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a reasonable concern as a parent, but I, I don't think it should stop someone from having a kid. But she seemed excited about it. I always couldn't tell if it was a real excitement or a fake excitement. That same. I don't I know. If she, I don't know if she was just telling, telling Gabriel what he wanted to hear. It could be yeah. a combination of excitement and dread. Which, you know what, I think that's probably what it was. Simon and Dread over the, the potential baby. What chapter was that one in? I'm trying to find the... Uh... It was... Chapter 13 of Part 2. Oh, okay. The baby one? Yeah. Yeah. It, says chapter, it was chapter 13 of part two. Because once they do a new part, they start over on chapter one. Yeah. Yeah. One, Which is kind of confusing, I won't lie. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. There would be so many chapters if they didn't do that. Some of these chapters, chapters are, are so short. They, yeah, I will say that. 34 chapters. There have, there have been some chapters where it's literally... A, like you read a page you turn it and it's half the page and then it's white and then it's like next chapter it's like all right i mean i felt like this all could have been at least these three four chapters could have been one but that's cool the diaries were like the longest chapters yeah they were yeah yeah mm-hmm. um what did you guys think about well first we'll say this did you guys think it was a good idea for um, Elisa to paint on her own. I think so. I I th- I thought it was gonna be great. I thought it was working until you know. It was working until Elif was Elif. Yeah, well, she's got. Yeah, she sorry. goes from. I she think, causes this trouble for herself, and she really has herself to blame. I agree. I feel yeah. like Elif goes from. E- Elif lives this on a scale. Yet, probably. She she lives on a scale of one or ten. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> also. I would find that incident to be on the grove, definitely. Why are these people not supervised when they're out of their rooms? Yeah, because they are mental patients. Yeah. They should be uh, supervised. Well, has a history to a few of them have a history of violence. Well, I feel, why, I feel why like not watch them when they are out. I feel like they have like a main out. area and everything like that, but it is it sense there's so because there's not it's not a one on one scale. It's not like for every doctor that they get one patient. So, but she still, probably had time to sneak security. off. Where is Yuri? Is he the only security in the entire building? I don't know. That's a good question. The he only also security. He also seems more worried about Elisa recently. Yeah. And that might have been it. He might have been more watching what she was doing because she, you know, she hasn't had the best history either. I mean, she tried to kill herself um, shortly after she got there and then... When she first interacted with Elif, when she said, "Hey, did your man deserve it?" She tried to stab her. Yeah. So I, I mean, those two already have a bad history. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure she just she snuck off. What did she do? She did she tear the painting or did she write slut on it or was it both? She, she wrote slut on it. Okay. She wrote slut on it. Okay. Slut? I think it was slut. Yeah. She she. Yeah. No, that that sounds right. No, yeah, that was right. Okay. I just forgot Maybe if she. I forgot if she okay. did that or tore it, and I think it was it was she definitely wrote slut on it. Which yeah, I don't. I don't know why she chose those words. 
Well, she yeah, was I don't know. Her of sleeping with um, Theo. Oh, that's right, because everyone has noticed that Theo has taken an interest in her. Oh, yeah, yeah she's so taken an interest in her. So everyone's assuming that they must be sleeping together. Okay. Um, even even Theo's friend, um, or quote unquote friend, who's like who was there before, he he got upset when he went behind his back and like you know talked about lowering oh, her dose. Yeah, I'm not a Christian's a dick. I hate him. Yeah, I was gonna ask. What do you guys? <laughs> he, can, he can go die. <laughs> I don't like Christian. Wow. Yeah, I don't think uh, anyone likes him. I feel like so, he's yeah, he's been jealous of Theo, and crazy. that's why he from the very beginning just didn't want to cooperate with Theo. Because Theo what? was actually gonna get somewhere instead of just passing the time. Well, yeah, I, I think he feels like threatened. I'm I sure I also think it's because it. Theo cho- is here by choice, and I feel like Christian kind of this was the only place that would take him. Oh yes, there's that type I, of. Uh, I got that no type. Action. I got that type of vibe that like you know Theo was very successful at his job and career that he could kind of work at a very higher, more well paid job, and Christian was kind of more. We need you, but you know. We would we wish you was literally anyone else. Yeah, and then what fed that was probably when Theo asked to reduce Alicia's uh, medication, and it kind of went behind. Mm-hmm. Christian probably felt like he went behind his back, so that probably didn't help much yeah. at all. Yeah. Well, I also feel like th- the fact that Theo chose to be there when he said, "Hey, you should probably go back to your other job because you know we we probably don't have that much time left." He's like, "I'll I'll still see what I can do." So I think he's upset that Christian's kind of stuck there and Theo's there by choice. You know? Yeah. That that would kind of upset me. Mm-hmm. But I am surprised that he didn't reduce her medication before that. Because after they reduced her medication, she did that um, head nod to Theo when he asked if part of her hated Gabriel. So No, she didn't. There. She didn't. Did, did she nod? No. Yeah, she, she shook her head. No, she didn't. I remember this. She Well, she shook her head no. Yeah, but she's that's still shaking her head. She actually had some kind of like some sort of a response. So, oh, oh I see. So, are you saying her. you're surprised they didn't lower it even more after that? Or just well, in I'm like for like, So they reduced her medication, and that allowed her. Well, yeah, that's when they started noticing her being a little bit more responsive. So you'd think that they would have tried that before um, Theo recommended it. Well, what she. Like responses, she just didn't talk. Well, no, every, she didn't talk. every time they they, I think they said we, they kind of just kept her that way because anytime it was lower, she always tried to kill herself. Oh yeah, that's right. That was the her. issue. She always kept trying to to end herself. You know, once she got in there. Yeah. Okay, I did forget about that. Which a part of me is wondering with like since all with all the paintings and everything, if. I don't think this is true, but I'm still going to say it. A part of me is wondering if she's doing all this, not as an act, like she, I think she is legitimately crazy, but like if she kind of like accepted it to make her art more famous later on, like after she dies. Oh, I don't, maybe. I don't think she's that deranged. I don't think so. I think she is just like straight up crazy. I don't think that was the reason. Yeah. My immediate feeling is that it's supernatural, but that's just because I like those books too much. Wait, what what pi- what type of supernatural type of thing? I don't know, just something took her voice away, like took her spirit or something. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, maybe it is like um. Kind of like El. Oh, how do you say that, Ethan? Elistia. Uh, that's terrible. <laughs> how did you pronounce it? Alcestis? The, the there you go, there you go. Alcestis, yeah. Alcestis, the amount of times I'll read a name in this book, and in my head I'm like, I'm pronouncing this wrong, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it in my head. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't even think about pronunciation, to be honest. Probably what, one thing I totally forgot about, what did you guys think about the painting that she finally did in the grove? Do you guys remember what it was? She she uh, uh, she she painted the grove on fire. Oh, that's um, right. He was carrying a knight in shining armor. It, well, 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 he said he he said he couldn't tell. He said um, he was unable to tell if he was saving her or throwing her into the fire. Yeah, and those are two very different things. So I'm kind of yeah, I'm kind of curious on that one. I I think personally. 
I'm trying to think how to phrase this. I, I think she drew it that he is saving her, but it might cause, it might, it might, you know, everyone else might go down with it. Like, if he only saves her, there's, oh. there's no one else, there's no one else in the building coming out. It's literally just them. So I think it's like, if you save me, you're, you're dooming everyone else. I see, yeah, because he does seem to be putting all his attention on her, and they're already very limited with their funds, and they said that he only has six weeks, and if it doesn't work, then it kind of just... Well, yeah, she doesn't know about the time frame, but I, I think she knows, like, she might be saying, like, you're focusing too much on me. Yeah, like her way of saying that. But yeah, I, I'm trying not to be like those people with art where it's like, oh, I think this represents, but like, I mean, in, in this book, it's 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 pretty justified. Okay. Like, it's not just going to be a black and white painting. It's a lot of interpretations. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, they, they want you to interpret it. I think this interpretation something. of the book yeah. means... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was going to make a dumb joke. Um, <laughs> the one thing I'm, I don't understand that why they did this... Um, was her neighbor always sees her consistently? Um, Barbie Hellman. Oh yeah, the I lady. I literally wrote I wrote because she was you know she was making a scene about wanting to see her and everything in the one of the last few chapters. I wrote Barbie yeah. Hellman slash Karen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're probably not wrong. You're basically yeah. not wrong, rather. Um, yeah, because she cause she, she was yelling at them for literally twenty minutes saying I want to see her and everything. And it's like, I don't know yeah. why, because afterwards, all she did was, you know, she talked to her for, like, a short, a brief time, but obviously she wasn't responding, so it's like, I don't know what your what your goal is. I think it's because she feels important that she can talk to her, or she knows someone who's so mysterious, and I think it's more of just, she feels... I'm excited to her life, because to be honest, her life at that point is kind of boring. Oh, what if it's yeah. also... Yeah... I was gonna say, what if it's guilt because she called the cops on her? But I feel like she thought that was the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> when you hear a gunshot. Probably, I mean, uh... yeah, that's a very, it's a very normal reaction to call the police and everything. But yeah. But yeah, I just thought it's very interesting, and like, I don't know why she wanted Theo to like, it's like, I'll tell you all about it if you come to my house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. But uh, that's all I can think about. I don't know if there's any other parts of the book that you guys want to talk about. Do you guys want to talk more about how everything was white in Chapter 10? or <laughs> go more in detail on Chapter 10. <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing I guess we should also talk about is the Theo and... and um, oh my god, I'm blanking on her name. Kathy? Kathy, his wife. They, yeah. their, their relationship started on them both cheating on their... their yeah, what did you get? I thought that was so. I didn't. That like was how bull. Was. So yeah, yeah, they're saying like we're in love. It's like I broke it with him. I broke it with her. It's like right, but after you, after you drenched the room, like. So. Yeah, their relationship is already based on cheating. It's not. It's not a great start to the relationship. Yeah. yeah. So I wonder if it's like karma in a way. Or she just cheats when she's bored. Because he's been faithful, at least to this point, with her. She is yeah. supposedly the one, che like, the cheater, but I I just don't know. Wait, you said he's cheated on her before? Did you? Is that what you said? He cheated on the ex-girl. Oh, oh, yeah, on the oh, yeah. I thought you meant he cheated on... I doesn't believe she's cheating. Technically, we have, we, we have no evidence that she's cheating. Everything just could be misinterpreted. True. But... Then why is she acting so... So do you think... Let's say she isn't cheating and he, he was high and imagined it. She's been getting more distant towards him. Do you think it's because literally she's just pissed... I don't think it's just because she's pissed off that he, he smoked some pot. No, she's definitely... She was getting distant. Yeah. Due to her sleeping around. It could be just... Maybe he because uh, of his be, new job, so he's... Things. Yeah. Man, and with the play. I wrote down the name of the play. I, I didn't look it up, but I'm wondering if the name of the play is like a hint or something. Um, The play is called... I, I wrote the name of the play that she's like rehearsing for is... Oh, hang on. I'm about to butcher this up. Uh, Desdemona in Othilo. Oh, I actually didn't look into what that is. I could look it up real quick and see. That might be a giant hit being like, this means this. Like some lover going off to another person. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, it is a character in Shakespeare's Othello. She is one of the most pitiable... 
pitiful victims in all of Shakespeare's plays, a devoted, loving wife, she is murdered by her husband in a fit of jealous rage. Othello is about many things, and one of the most glaring of things is race. Huh. A devoted, loving wife, she is murdered by her husband in a jealous fit of rage. So I wonder That's if in the book, in a for the future. <laughs> I wonder if the yeah. in in a way the book is saying, yeah, I feel like that maybe was something. Like maybe he 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 he, he might be. Book? I don't know what the name is, but is this topic mentioned in the book? I'm sorry, say that again, Austin. Hang on. Is it me or is it like the name the paintings or the or the art pieces that they name are based on actual. Plays or mythology uh, characters. No, they yeah, they definitely are. I don't remember what the. Is that this? I guess Ophelia. That's who. That came from Hamlet, right? Fine. Uh, is that from Hamlet? What? Is Ophelia from Hamlet? I want to say it's from Hamlet. I don't know. I, feel it. Like... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But that is a very interesting. Uh play that you look up because i didn't even look up that title for the play but i remember writing it down because I, I was i felt like it was it was a hint like it wasn't just going to be like oh yeah and the play is called you know sally wants an apple <laughs> like i felt like it had some meaning i just forgot about to to look it up um yeah that's see. interesting we'll see if that have if it happens to come up at all i wonder if it is and holly's just like not saying anything because it's a big spoiler <laughs> No, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> when I read it, I already looked at the, uh, so, the title uh, of it. So, have you noticed anything different, Holly, since you've read this book before? Have Have you has anything stood out to you even more now that you're you're like, oh, I didn't notice this the first time? Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know because I was so. You were. You were. I was you so were, interested were... In it when I was reading it through it the first time. Um, I think more so just how crappy of a, a, a wife that Kathy <laughs> is. Um, but I don't know. So far, it's been pretty much the same, but it's been really good. Um, that's all. I don't know if you guys have anything else, or if not, we can talk about whatever the the thing, the thing says at the end of, um, you know, the, the Ethan says it has a list of book club questions are any of them going to like be spoiling anything for you ethan i'll, I'll read them so. i'll read them first before oh yeah how about that yeah I, 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 I don't want it to be oh, like yeah. if, it, if it's something yeah. like how did everyone feel when this person died it's like well okay I, it wasn't a lot of it like that it was basic questions kind of like what we've been asking to be honest yeah oh i can read them but i do have a question before we do that though so christian the the guys that you guys don't like he tells Theo not, or he tells Theo to be careful not to be seduced by Alicia. Do you think that that's like actually happening? Do you think Alicia is actually trying to, to seduce Theo, or that that's even a possibility? I don't think he's doing it intentionally. I think but I, I, I do think it's happening. Uh, yeah, I agree with Austin. I think he is kind of like becoming more intrigued by her, but I don't think it's her doing because I don't think she's going to be. I mean, if she's playing hard to get, she's playing it hardcore. <laughs> She if if she's the doing the silent treatment, it if that's her only move, but um, um I don't I I, think, I yeah I think he is slowly falling for her more and more. It seems like with the way of that play, that might like that actually might be what is happening. But yeah, I don't think it's her doing it on purpose. I also don't. Yeah, it's not her doing it on purpose. It's I feel like it's more of his life at home is falling apart, and his only. Like he he feels goal in life. Himself at work. Yeah. Like right now, he all he's to when he goes home. Yeah. He yeah, has a supposedly been. cheating wife. I mean, yeah. And then this girl that he thinks he can fix. Because think about yeah. it, when he go, when he goes to work, even if it's I mean, except for where the, the, the way this last part ended with the, the knife stabbing, but before that, I'm sorry, the the eye stabbing. Before that, though, he was kind of making some 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 progress so i mean imagine if you 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 you're making some progress in feeling one person a female or you know some of the opposite sex and then you go home and you f he feels like his marriage is kind of deteriorating with each day when she's like calling him a pothead and then you know 
not trusting her when he says, I'm going to go hang out with a friend, and then she is hanging out with a friend. Like he, he, It's like yeah. one relationship with a female is, is kind of rising, and the other is slowly going down each passing day. So, uh, yeah. I mean, he probably just sees himself in Alicia. Both oh, very damaged like crap. And... Yeah. And he's hoping if he can help her, he might help him. Wait, I'm confused. Himself. Why? Why? How does he see himself before his marriage started falling apart? I could see him see like he sees himself as trapped, and she's kind uh, of trapped. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got you. I, oh, that might have been why. Uh, like, okay. That's just my interpretation. I could be wrong. I, that's I haven't thought of it that way, but that actually makes. I mean, I, like, we total sense. a lot of these might be wrong. Some might be right. I we I mean we can't just because yeah we. We might be completing completely the wrong idea, but the whole point of this is it's it's fun to see like what's going to happen next. Yeah, and yeah, and I think this book, it like the author, he's one of my favorite authors, and he, whenever he writes something, he's always leaving it open for interpretation, and and then you obviously read more and you kind of fill in more dots. You're like, oh, okay, this is what that meant and stuff like that. I, I so, just, I just, yeah. <clears throat> but. Oh no! I was just um, yeah. I I, I like. Last thing, the last question I had was, what do you think of Alicia giving him her journal? Do you think like she's actually wanting help, or do you? Think oh, that's him? right. Yeah. When did what she give it to him? him? She gave it to like the very end of part two. It oh, was yeah. like the last sentence. It was after he told her that he, the therapy's terminated, and so yeah. she then she. Was gave it during their last session, saying this is our last therapy session? Yeah, because Diomedes yeah, says that, or told Theo that he couldn't do it anymore. I forgot about that. I, I, I wonder if it might have I been a like awful. keep like like keep going, or the answer is the answer is in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I t I totally yeah. forgot about that. I have no idea what that could mean. Like, why was she, why she would give it to him? It's either because she wants to be saved, or because well, I saw that she didn't want him to give up on her. Yeah. Because he has been he he he's tried multiple strategies. Like the first strategy was he just sat in the room and did nothing because, you know, to like make her feel comfortable, and yeah, like he slowly got like head. The way of Ruth. But it wasn't really working. Yeah. Yeah. He was trying. He was trying to make himself a Ruth, and it's just like it might not be the 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 main way to save her. I think it was a good start, only because she might have felt like he was just another therapist that did the yeah. same things as every other one, whereas he was like, "I'm willing to work on your terms," type of thing. That's what I thought. That's what it was. Was it was just saying like you know we we don't have like this is about you, not me. Well, I mean that's what it, it kind of is somewhat about him. We're but not, we're not here to listen to me talk. We're here for you. And but and then he broke that rule because he started talking and talking. But he said like he he kind of. But that was like the first session. There was no talking, right? No, it was right. just no. There was no yeah. talking. But like he broke a rule. He said like he started talking and then she looked up. I forgot what she said, what he said. But he kept talking, and that's when he... He said he, that I want to help you or, or something like that. But then he screwed up by saying, you know, you must... Uh, you feel guilt, and he, uh, I feel guilt, blah, blah, blah. He's like, you must feel guilt because you killed Gabriel, because a part of you didn't might have not loved him. And then she shook her head no, and he's like, well, you killed him, so a part of you didn't love him. And then she shook her head even more no, like... I, I have a theory on that, actually. Why she shook her head no and, and got no, upset? No, on, on the, the murder... Oh yeah. What if what if she was thought she was killing Max? No. Oh. No. Because you, you think like she thought he might have just come in the house. Maybe I don't know a whole lot about like what like I mean so far I don't but like what if what if she was trying to, she she thought she was doing it to Max because Max was inserting himself in her life like. She felt like violated by uh, Max. I yeah. didn't she um she came home and then she shot him and then she sat down. It's not like oh, he was, I don't no, think he was, was in the dark. She they and found she who it was it was bam. That I don't know. Okay. There's a lot of details I felt that were being omitted. Yeah, there are a lot of details omitted. That might be interesting if Well, was this recently after Max and his wife had visited them? 
I'm trying to remember the timeline of it. Um... Neither can I, unfortunately. I, I don't think it was an accident. I mean, it might make sense why she's not talking because she can't believe she did that. But she, when they when they uh, found uh, her, wasn't she just sitting? Kind of, yeah, it's confusing because in the painting that she had drawn, she drew Gabriel with the shotgun. But wait, was it a shotgun? Like, yeah, right. The, sh the shotgun. Okay, I can't remember what type of gun it was, but mm -hmm. I don't think it was. I don't. I don't think she thought it was. I, I think she knew she was killing Gabriel. But There's also the thought that it wasn't her at all, which that is, is a thought. good point. Didn't they find mm -hmm. her like with the gun? Yeah. yeah so, they Max and Gabriel had a fight. Oh, and then maybe the and maybe she got shocked and everything. Yeah, and she was just like output from shock and. Yeah, because when they found her, she was. Oh, the the story of Asestis has to have like a like a huge like. Yeah. Well, that doesn't make sense uh -huh. that if, if Max was involved, that wouldn't make sense why she would name the painting. Because remember, she named the painting after. Um, she killed. She killed Gabriel. Oh, that's a good point. So that doesn't make sense how Max would fit into that. So I, I, I truly think she killed her husband. And it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't like they were fighting. I think she straight up planned. Just you'd be like, all right, yeah, today. I'm, I'm speculating here. I know. I know. It's all speculation. <laughs> It's good speculation, though. That would be a big twist if that's what happened, was, like, Max was somehow involved in it. I mean, every time Theo asks Max questions, every time it gets to a certain, like, degree of cl closing down of the mystery, Max just stops. and becomes very, uh... Distant or... Um, or I, I thought that was because... Defensive. I thought that was because once it was revealed that, um, you know, he, like, confessed his love for her and said, I love you, I, I love you, be with me. But he doesn't know anything about that. I, it was just the, us as the reader. I, I know, but I feel like he doesn't want to talk about it because if he's talking to another person that he loved her and everything, it might get back to his wife. Oh, yeah. Well, he didn't have a wife at that time, did he? I think he did. No. no. Oh, he no, did it? That time. Oh. I have no. no idea then. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to keep reading to find out. Yeah. But I uh, looked at the discussion questions and some of them were actually really good. And did we hit a lot of them? We actually did hit a couple of them, yeah. Nice. Oh, so what are some of the ones we haven't we haven't done? Lay them on us. Okay, so here's the other one. Says the story begins with the revelation Alicia murdered her husband. Why do you think the author made this admission at the very start? So it's kind of what we were just talking about. But what, why, why, why it author... starts with why it starts with her killing him? Yeah, instead of leading up to a kill. Well, the whole point we're kind of seeing this through Theo's perspective, so he's trying to figure out why what happened beforehand. Yeah, because Alicia is not the main character of this story. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, we kind of talked on that one. Yeah, it's just we're we're seeing it through Theo's perspective. Alicia is just kind of the the um the, the tool. I don't want to say the that. Catalyst. Yeah, I yeah that word sounds more accurate. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the journey, but. But yeah, that that's why I think it it, it started from that point of going it's like chapter one, bang, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Austin, awesome. what do you think on it? Um. I honestly don't know. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Austin. I feel like it's Ethan and I've been talking a lot, and but yeah, feel free to jump in and like tell us to shut up. No, you're good. I I've been jumping in where I've had something to say. Yeah. Okay. Here's another one. Uh, Alicia's diary plays a key role in the book. What purpose do you think it serves? And does your perception of Alicia change the more you read? I mean, the, the answer to the first part is situational irony, just literarily. Liter lit what's the word? For what? For, like, I don't know, in terms of, like, literacy, like, writing tropes, I uh, guess. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because it's, it, it's meant to, like, 
they, it you could... information that the other characters don't have, which is situational it, irony. Yeah, it, it definitely yeah. makes me feel a little bit more sympathetic towards her. Not like, like oh, good, Gabe deserved to die, but it makes me feel more sad that she was kind of always scared and, and lost. Yeah, yeah she never really yeah. felt like... Yes. She was in the right place. I'm in a big club right now. Yeah. yeah, she. Yeah, she. Sorry. That. That's why. I. That's why I do. I. I do her diary I'm sections are the there. longest part of of I'm any chapter. But yeah, it, every time I read one, I always go like, "Oh, that sucks." You have to mute your mic real quick if you're gonna talk. <laughs> but um. But yeah, her diary is very interesting. Yeah, here's one we kind of touched on. Um. Theo's motives to work with Alicia are complicated. Do you think he wanted to help her? Like, oh, I think what we were kind of talking about earlier was, did he want to help her, or is it more of his own type of journey? I think it was, I think it's both. Yeah, I think we, because we definitely did talk about that. He, he's, he's, he's helping himself by helping her. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it, it, usually therapists, it's, I want to help you because I want to, I, I want to help you people in general but yeah for him this was a little bit more selfish but he's still trying to help her yeah but it's more of a curiosity than an actual like right at least in the vibe i'm getting it's more that, for that is true that that is what we said earlier was he i feel like he wants to get her to talk to be like oh i'm glad you're talking so why'd you kill your husband <laughs> yeah Big questions to ask you <laughs> yeah so it, it is kind of selfish but i feel like he also he does like he 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 wants to get her out of feeling trapped inside herself. Even though yeah, now he's that, now he's terrified yeah, of her, though, because he said... More of a, it's because he... Oh, hold on, Woods. Because um, <laughs> if he helps her get herself untrapped from her mind, he might be able to solve his own problems. Yeah. That's what I was thinking was on. It's not... I mean, I'm sure he has some sense of, like, duty as a psychotherapist, but it's definitely not a, a pure... So I'm the greatest person ever to exist type of deal. What's the difference between a therapist and a psychotherapist? Psychotherapists are for crazy people. Like, okay. Like, like <laughs> so a psychotherapist is like a therapist uh, e premium or something like that. Like <laughs> premium, yeah. Like, you have to have I a subscription to Looneyville to, uh, psychologists. to crazy. More, so, you know, they just help the okay. people who are sane. I wonder if that's a thing in itself. As why did he become a psychotherapist and not just a therapist? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I actually haven't thought into that one. Um, are there any other I mean, questions? His reasoning for it is because he's fucked up. That's true. Yeah. He even says like he's tried to quit smoking and everything like that, and like he, like he's very flawed he for a psychotherapist. Can't. I mean, all humans are flawed. I know, but I feel like the therapist should kind of understand their own emotions a little bit better than most people. Yeah. Or at least know the tools to help themselves. To, exactly. Like, Rudy and I have said this before. We were talking about um, the show Frasier, him and his brother, and we were like, for therapists, they're kind of flawed a lot, right? He's like, yes, extremely. They keep making the same mistakes, so. If he's a psychotherapist, he should be a little bit more well ha uh, handled. Yeah, Poe, oh, but everyone's human. That's true. Yeah. Um. After that, the questions kind of go into part three and well, four and five. Yeah, so, so we won't we, we won't do that. We'll save those for um the next the next part. Yeah, but there are some good questions. So. But overall, yes. I I'm very this book is very <laughs> good. I it, this is right? a type of this is why I wanted to do a book club. I would not have ever read this book. I would not have found it um, on my own. So well, I, I, I definitely will, you know, later on, like I'll keep, I, I want to see all the books he's done and, and see how they are. Oh, there's one that's really good. Um, and it, it's not a sequel, which I kind of like. I like individual standing books sometimes. Um, but yeah, he has more books where it's just a good standing book on its own. Yeah, I, I like reading single books because it's all done. I've read two trilogies, and it's just like, you read one book, and you're like, I have so many questions, and I have to read a whole other book to get them. <laughs> and hopefully they don't cancel the series or just straight up die before they answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, we're getting a little bit off topic, but yeah, my friend told me that is why um, 
Stephen King, because that's his favorite author, he got into a plane crash and, and survived and everything like that, but he went, holy frick, I'm on part, like, three of, like, seven for a book series. I gotta finish this. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, your friend got in a plane crash, or...? No, my friend, he, he um... He, he's a big Stephen King fan, and Stephen King got into a plane crash when he was on, like, part three or four of a book series that he knew was going to be, like, seven or eight books. Oh. And, and he was like, man, if I died right there, that would have been it for the series, and no one would have known because I, it's all in my head, so I should probably finish this. It would have been, like, uh, if the writer of Harry Potter died after... Uh, Prince of Azkaban. Oh my gosh, it would have been something like that. Yeah. Wait, really quick. There's actually a really good book that is kind of along the lines of Aaron, what Aaron just said. This author, um, she's like a really well-known, famous author. She was in the <laughs> middle of her series, and then she was in an accident, and she didn't die, but she was basically brain dead, oh. and so. They had chosen someone to complete her series, and so the girl has to go to her house and do a bunch of research of all the characters that she was writing about, and it's an amazing story, kind of a thriller. I wonder um, if it tanked or flopped, like did people like it or hate it after she took over? Well, you'd have to read, you'd have to, to, to read it, but it is, that one's a really good book too, but that one has a lot more, um... We'll say a lot more sexual scenes in it, so I didn't recommend that book because. <laughs> Holly, oh my really gosh, Holly! I, a sex book anyway, this so. is why we can't do more than one book. So I'll be like, Holly, let's do a trilogy. Well, let's read Fifty Shades of. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you? <laughs> the storyline on it though is amazing. So what a Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> no, no, that's called Verity. If you ever want to read it, the, the book uh. is just out. These these characters in um, the Silent Patient they get around. <laughs> well, no, varies by a different author. No, I'm saying in this book, the Silent Patient, the characters in the book do get around. <laughs> oh yes, this is true. I forgot how many times. But yeah. <laughs> um, does anyone have any other things they want to bring up? Like jump to an, a certain chapter that, or or anything about a character, or because I I I can't think of anything else. Um. So does anyone have any like last things they want to say? Um, her cousin, the alcoholic slash gambler. What? Oh yeah, he like he asked her, him, like, cause he asked him for money. Right, and she gave it to he him. Asked him like, Twenty grand, and she gave him like two. Yeah. But, is, it, is there more you want to go on about that, or? <laughs> Is that gonna lead anywhere, or? I think that was just showing. There's more to unfold. Okay, yeah. From that part, I, all I got to take, all, the only takeaway I got from that was, she got away from a family that was kind of like you know a bunch of, kind of lazy and you know not the most responsible people. I and mean, very, like, like if she me. drew her aunt like over a table that's breaking on a chair breaking eating food it's like i i think she pretty much said what she thought about her like you all you do is eat and nothing else so yeah and her family all seem to be kind of mean yeah that's why she really liked gabriel because super fucked she felt really loved by him yeah um i have one last question what do you guys think of diomedes i like him I think, I I think he's a really good person, and I think he was on his side. But when he was getting it, like when the lawyer, um, when the lawyer called and said, "You guys harassing me," when he was against Theo, I thought it was justified, saying like, "You like you're not a detective." But overall, I like his personality, and I think he is, um, he is trying to do the best. I mean, like he said, he he he's broken all of his marriages because he he's he's dedicated to his job, so. Overall, I like him. I think he's just playing it safe because of that Stephanie chick. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, that is true. Well, you can tell not, she like, she got a big power trip when once um, Elif got stabbed, oh, yeah. and she's like, "Now I'm in charge." It's like, okay, whatever. Yeah. I, I'm not and a fan of her either. The only people no. I really care about is like Diominus. Uh, what's his name? Yuri. Yuri. Yuri's no, Yuri's Yuri. nice. Um. What about Theo? 
Theo. I, oh, I'm saying like the people Theo works with. <laughs> oh, oh. But yeah, I like. I like. I mean, we have the book's kind of <clears throat> centered to make you like Theo. Otherwise, you wouldn't yeah. keep reading. I yeah. mean, if, if you if you hated Theo when he said my wife's cheating on me, good. Close the book forever. <laughs> like. I'm pissed. Was because that means really like uh, it's not, not gonna be easy to convince her to let uh, Alicia paint by herself. Yada yada yada, and she's like, "Take her! Oh my fucking god! Please take her!" Oh yeah, that's right. Well, th I feel like the painters was more just to show a, a lot of people who are working I mean, there. Like, or... Playing it up, and then she was like, "Like I, I just she, she she didn't really care." I felt like I, I felt like that was showing how a lot of the doctors there, just like uh, Christian, are stuck. Yeah, like well, that really said that he had tried. He he did work with Alicia, but they kind of gave up pretty fast. Oh yeah, true. Like like you said, like with the painter, she said get rid of her, like I fine take her. He uh, Theo said something that was very very true for her, I think, and probably a lot of therapists. But he said a uh, very few therapists are. Um, therapist a lot of them are just plumbers um do you guys remember that line yes vaguely. he said like so most therapists are plumbers like they they'll get rid of the clog but they don't care as to why the clog happened uh, um and you could tell she was jealous she said all she paints is this this and this that's easy it's like you're jealous because she's you you've seen her in her prime she's way better than you um so i yeah i kind of remember I, this I, I feel like in a, in a way, the book might be saying a lot of the um, the doctors there are stuck as well. So they might also, in, in some way, be a patient to that place as well. Well, and I think it's... Because we're, what, Alicia's been there six years. Yes, um, correct. Yeah. So they might be kind of just burnt out, and it sounds like it's about to close, or it's on the chance of closing, so they might just kind of... Oh, yeah, care. you might give up at that point, being like, what's the point? Like, you know, if we save one more person here out of the couple dozen we have we're still going to be closed in six to twelve months so who cares yeah but that's probably also why diomedes is wanting to be so careful because they're kind of uh, already on the brink of closure yeah they're on extremely thin ice i yeah mm -hmm. I, i'm excited to see what happens next with um you know after the events of one what's in her diary because now that theo has it we can see because we've been reading it just as the reader but yeah. it is going to be interesting to see what Theo thinks and how it changes him and his maybe his approach to healing her yeah. after uh, having his it. approach to both Max and uh, John Felix. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's, yeah, that's right. That. See, that's why we might get some answers. Why Max might have been like lying and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it'll provide a lot of answers for her. Because yeah, cause Theo said he didn't like um, uh, Felix, right? Yeah, yeah he's like, that's right. Because when he said, "Oh, let me see what she draws," it felt more like he he didn't want to, he didn't really care to see her. He was just obsessed over her art. That's why whenever he said, "Oh yeah, do you want to drop off her her painting equipment?" He went, "Oh, uh, he's like, oh, I could come by and get." It. He's like, "Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that." So yeah, like yeah. So yeah, he's gonna learn like, hey, so you were kind of a creep, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then he'll go to Max and say, "Hey, you were kind of a creep, huh?" <laughs> Yeah, major creep. But yeah, that's the next thing I'm excited for. It's just reading more of her diary, but through Theo's perspective. Yeah, and then oh, I won't, I won't say anything. Yeah, it, I'm excited. Wait, when do we want to do the next uh, book club then? I would just say uh, another. We do two weeks. So well, I'm most of it is already. Down. We're halfway we're done. Like, we're halfway. We're more than halfway done. No, well, we're, we're I think we're a little bit more than halfway. We're like fifty-one and a half percent done, guys. <laughs> no, we're not. We're on page two hundred four. There's three hundred and twenty-three pages. Oh. We have like a hundred and twenty pages left. Yeah, it's it's. If you look, because the back of the book has a lot of extra pages, because it goes over the author's interpretation of the book. Yeah. So, why do we need the author's interpretation? He wrote the book. Don't we know his interpretation by reading well, the there's book? There's so many. Twists, <laughs> like, there's so many. Like, like the question one, he answers. You know, 
why did you start the book with Alicia's murder? Uh, and, we, and you know, like, we could talk about that on the second part, questions. too. What? Okay, we could talk about that on the second part as well, like his interpretations. Oh, we should. We definitely should. But um, yeah, I think uh, the I second just, book... I just feel like more for as well for me, like, what would what's next week going to be? Today is currently the 27th. I mean, are you guys fine doing it um, on the 6th or 7th of May? Like, literally, uh, literally next week? Because that's why I'm wondering. Like, it's... I just don't want us... The 6th is a Friday, right? Yes. I'm not available then. I've got... Uh, i got to take my car in. Ah. And we still have to read all of it. Do we think we could read it all? No. Yeah. I, that's I, why, I, because, like, I know I'm going to... Like, tomorrow, I have to spend most of the day... Um, I'm helping my sister move... And then on a good portion of Saturday, I have to watch my nephew and then, you know, work. So I just don't want to be where, like, there are going to be some days where I know I'm just going to wake up, work out, go to work, come home, be like, I should read, but I'm tired. I'm going to go pass out. So Yeah, because you want it to be fun and not feel like, okay, I have to read. It, exactly. So I, I doesn't have to exactly be two weeks out. Um, would you guys want to do, I mean, it also because we don't know Ethan's schedule or my schedule, but I mean... Supposedly for the next two weeks, supposedly. Probably not for Sunday. Thursday, Friday, and using vacation time for the rest. Um, supposedly. We probably shouldn't do it on Sunday because that's Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> Which I just realized something. The 8th is Mother's Day. But would you guys want to try on the Saturday evening? Um, if, if Ethan's schedule allows it, like just on the 7th? We can shoot for the uh, the seventh, and then if we don't have it all read by then, or something pops up, we can maybe do it on the Wednesday again. Yeah, or if uh, I just I just don't want to. I I was worried that like you were getting frustrated, Holly, since you've already read it. You were like, "Gosh, guys, like we're we're delaying it more and more and more." Blah 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 blah. Oh no, I enjoy. It. I yeah, no, you're good. I enjoyed rereading it, and I like hearing your thoughts on it, and I hundred percent understand a busy lifestyle, so it's. It's all good. I, I would say I we. You're the busiest of all of us, for what it's worth. I I would say we shoot for for um, next Saturday, and we just go from there. We see what happens. Yeah. I would recommend yeah, not. You know, one thing that I personally learned is because when I was a little bit behind because I started late, I was like, man, if you just read like twenty pages a day, you get through a book pretty fast. Yeah, and twenty pages is not all that much. It's not, but like five days later, not even a week, you're at a hundred pages. So if a, the average book, this is a little bit of a shorter book, but most books are like four hundred pages. So it, I read fifty pages in about an hour. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm part, that's a lot. I'm extremely slow at reading, unfortunately. Plus, I'm also even if I wasn't writing, I feel like I would still. Oh, that's right. Cause you take that point. Well, that, that's just because I know I'm gonna forget stuff. But even if I wasn't writing, I'm just I'm a slow reader, and I fall asleep or I get very tired when I read. Um. That's well, this what... next half, you guys are going to really like, you won't be able to put it down.